<laughs> that smile never goes away. Sure, it does. She's over on your side. After a couple of years. I didn't bring a fan with me up here, so aloha. Quick little lesson for you guys. Aloha literally means the presence of breath. So all of my aloha is virtually tapped out already. If you ever think that riding a bike up a hill isn't enough exercise, try filming it. So I brought you guys up here this morning because this is a property that we bought a while back when we first moved out here. Uh, all this this land down below us we're hoping to build on it someday and uh, it just worked out that the CCNRs didn't jive with what we were hoping to do and it was gonna end up costing way more money than we ever expected to make what we wanted to happen happen so it's on the market you can call Darla it would be kind of cool if like we hit the lottery or something but I'm not playing the lottery anymore so the, the chances of that are pretty much eh. there's really virtually no point to today's video that's kind of what happens sometimes when you do life documentaries some some days that are more pointless than others i guess <laughs> no but as I, as I was riding up here i had an idea to just go and kind of sit and chill with hillary and halo on the couch out in the back and just kind of talk about whatever because yesterday's vlog was pretty cinematic with not a lot of talking so i figured today maybe we'd do a lot of talking without so many cinematrics cinematrics how you guys feel about that Ooh, i'm also thinking about doing a how well do you think you really know me thing because one of the things I'm talking to Hillary about is the fact that she didn't even realize I was doing a video every day until last night And I'm pretty sure I've been doing a video like every day for at least three weeks now And she didn't even notice so it's like how well does she really know me and I was gonna pose questions to you guys Well, here we'll, we'll talk with Hillary about it That was not the plan that was not the plan at all And then for this next clip, for some reason, my mic wasn't working, but I got home and realized nobody else was there, looked around the room, and then, no, why, why? I thought that the house would stay clean for at least 24 hours since we just cleaned it yesterday. Mic check, beard check, one, two, three. I decided I need a cold coffee. I was about to make myself a hot coffee in the house, and I was like, that's ridiculous. What am I thinking? I need a cold brew. And I'm going to Starbucks because Starbucks has the best nitro cold brew in the area. I've tried it at a couple local places and it's just, just not quite there, man. It just doesn't quite do it. Starbucks has this thing. It literally like zaps your lip when you take your first sip. And it is about 10, 12 miles or so from my house. And I have to go drive and get it. And I'm gonna go through the drive-thru like a lazy son of a... It's like, why did I even ride a bike if I'm just gonna go sit in a drive-thru at Starbucks, right? Gosh, you know what? I'm living a life of excess. There's this on-ramp back there that I passed and I'm coming to the second on-ramp instead because this, that last on-ramp is so short. Even with this V8 5.7 liter, it's like life or death merging into traffic. Cause it's like you got literally, you're on the freeway. It's like you, you take a hard right and pff, you're on the freeway. It's so ridiculous. Whereas this one, you've got like 300 yards. It's a nice downhill slope. You can see cars coming from a mile away. Oh. It's so much nicer, especially on a day like today. Uh, I can wait for it. It's not problem. Oh, yeah. yeah, no problem. Okay, I know. I know. I'm wearing a, a chin hair mic. It's. No, you're fine. I was like, but we'll have it right after. Okay, thanks. Hi. That's okay. No worries. No worries. Thank you. Thanks. You too. I decided to start calling it a chin hair mic because I think we can both agree it's not really a beard. But they ran out of the nitro cut lid cup, so it's like you don't get the little zap which is fine, but, oh wait. <laughs> I've got one right here. <laughs> How about that, suckers? Bam, in it to win it. Hell yeah. Mm, it's still zapped, it zapped my lip. All right, I want you guys to go to, I want you guys to go to Starbucks, get yourself a nitro cold brew, make sure they have the right lid and see if it freaking zaps you like 
electrostatic zap right on your lip when you first sip it. It's that's it does it to me every time. I love it. Okay, it's time for Hillary and Halo. Holy crap, guys! I'm listening to Catalia's video right now. She did the Etta James cover. She kills it, dude. I didn't know a girl could sing. Aaliyah, I'm calling you out right now, sis. I'm bringing my guitar to the Pomona show. Let's sing a song together, please. Dude, I'm gonna link the I'm gonna link the video down below, man. She's killing it. Right, I just got off the horn with Aaliyah. She's coming to Pomona next month, and we're gonna try to sing a song together. She gets, she, she says she gets super nervous singing in front of people and, and doesn't think she can sing well at that point. But dude, I I try to sing. I try to sing. Aaliyah, if you're watching this, you can sing. Like you're not trying. It's happening. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. All right, for, for real now, Hillary and Halo. Two twenty. Do something loud, like you're gonna be. Ah! Again. Ah! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get Halo. Oh, Halo. All right, so we're just gonna help and pray with all our might that she doesn't poop mm. on the couch. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> if she does. Yeah. Does she have to poop? If she does, she will not. With these cushion, the the covers are removable. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> that smell never goes away. Sure, it does. She's over on your side. After a couple of years. She's going off the couch that way. It's cool. Does she need to poop? No, she doesn't need to poop. Oh, okay. Hillary time. Hanging with Halo and Hillary. Roll intro. I didn't I didn't make one. <laughs> <laughs> you good with kids, huh, Halo? Halo's been around so many kids. <laughs> Hi, Squeaky Tiki. How did you not know that I've been putting out a video every day for the past three weeks? <laughs> Well, I thought you were, but like, I don't know. I feel like I see them in the editing process so often, no matter how often you're putting them out, that it seems like you're kind of always doing them every day. But I, I don't know, like, if you're just editing it for a few days later or if... Well, it's just la like, because last night you're like, have you been doing a video every day? I was just confirming what I thought was happening. Hmm. I feel like we should be on what, what are those old games that they used to play, like the newlywed game, but like for people who have been married. That's what I'm talking about. That's my idea. Maybe <laughs> we, could do, we, we could submit to everybody to, we could ask everybody to submit questions. Okay. Like, and we'll pick we five of them. we have to ask about each other. I'll have people send, each other. yeah, exactly. I'll send okay. so that people can get to know us better because apparently. I feel like we'd either be really good at it or really bad. <laughs> Well, here, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we ask the audience to submit questions okay. to you for me okay. and questions to me for you. So okay. questions that I'll ask you and that, okay. whatever. It doesn't have to be about anything in particular, just a question. Whatever right. any, whatever somebody wants to come up with. Okay. Why don't you take Mushi over there? We'll have people submit questions to you for me and then mm -hmm. questions to me for you. And we'll each choose five mm -hmm. without the other seeing them. I'll have you guys send questions to Hillary's Instagram, DM her on Instagram, and you can send them to me on email or Instagram or Facebook or right here on YouTube. You can send private messages um, so that I can't see the questions you're going to ask me and you can't see the questions I'm going to well, ask you. Well, or they can just comment on the video and ask the questions. No, because I'm going to read the comments. Yeah, but you're not going to know which questions but I But I'm going to see them. The idea is I don't see any questions. Mm. Okay. I know you. I know what you're thinking right now. She, you know, she don't want. Yeah, if you got, she's just, she's gonna, she's gonna reach. She's not even gonna accept the necessary the, the message on Instagram. She's just gonna see it and then maybe screenshot it, and not even approve you to contact her because she gets some creepers coming over from the YouTube channel, trying to tell her how to uh, handle her children on the beach, and uh, she'll just block you right off. Hillary's part of the cancel culture, so she'll just block you. She doesn't care. It's just like a, I don't know. It's kind of a personal space for me, and it's mostly for like mothering the poop again oh man yeah man i thought halo was the one to poop you just be careful look kind and gentle you can take the ipad and show her the coloring and play with her and the ipad in your room for a little bit okay that was all just a reminder to me too of how very little time we get to spend with each other just the two of us pretty much none well yeah that's... i know i know i know i know it's part of raising children but i'm just i mean and also like why does every <laughs> so time anyways. we have every time we have a family video we mushy has poop and you're just like oh we'll just leave it <laughs> well because it's like gotta get this done she might have more to go so i'm not gonna get up and change her right now if she's not done but i was saying like or at least i knew when we decided we were gonna have multiple children that that's what that was going to mean for a little while 
but it's okay because we get to hang like we're we're a family unit so we hang out a lot as a family which I think we're so lucky that we even get to do that you know that we don't have the traditional you go to work all day nine to six and then basically we see each other in the morning and the evening and that's it like at least we're around each other even though it's not one-on-one time like we still get to spend time together that's true and I think it's good for our kids to see us spending a lot of time together. I like how she just should just chill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's like a lap snake. Lap snake. <laughs> I've got a question for everybody. Should we get a dog? <laughs> I know. It's like in theory, I really want one. Maybe when we don't have a one-year-old. Yeah. But what if they were like best friends and the dog could like go get her her doll and... What if it bit her on the face? Oh, well, yes. That's <laughs> not good either. Yeah. Snake bite and nothing compared to a dog bite. I mean... A snake bite is nothing compared to a dog the bite. The bite itself, but what about the wrapping? Well, a feeding response. I would never let the kids get a feeding response from a big snake. Mm-hmm. I would never let that position... I would never let that happen. I was having like a very philosophical thought about what you're doing and how it like transcends to like the bigger picture helping people get over their fears of reptiles and snakes and like teaching kids to like something that a lot of other people don't like can then transition into like being more accepting of other people and other thoughts and ideals that are not something that maybe are taught by family or society I I was having this very like philosophical thoughts about well I, I think about it that this. way too I mean when I go back to a, a place that I that I think of along that kind of line of thinking is like most of the world's problems stem from misunderstandings and right. fear yeah. and so if you can take a little bit of that misunderstanding and fear which these are some of the most misunderstood and feared creatures on the planet right if you can take that and turn it around in somebody's mind that's a step in the right direction for everything and everyone right because it is understanding that leads to the success of us as humans. That's what I believe. If you really understand something versus fear it. Huh, Mushi? I mean, I still get a little bit scared at this corn snakes, which is like the most ridiculous thing ever. But it's, it's their it makes movements. Makes sense with your, yeah, with your yeah. worm fear, your worm nightmare. Yeah. And it's a moral. So dumb. But yeah, there's just those fast movements that startle me. And, Who's splashing in the toilet? That's a kid that really wants to hold a snake. <laughs> the funny thing is, my thought process about doing this thing, sitting here talking with Hillary, was uh, like, I didn't want to put as much effort into today's video as I did yesterday's video. But I ended up putting in, <laughs> I ended up putting more energy into this one. So, eh. You know what, the, the best way to, here's a good life lesson for the day. Go into everything with as little expectations as possible and your chances for being disappointed are gonna be like almost nothing. And that's what I'd like you to keep in mind before you meet me in person. All right, I'm gonna go have fun editing this thing, but before we get out of here, let's see what those boys know. Hey Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Ice? Ice? What about ice? That I'm trying to figure out a way to break it without like stabbing, like using a pickaxe to dig for fossils. I'm figuring out a way to like just put it on here and break the ice. And I figured out a way to do this. You need hot water, put it on, and do this. Maybe that wasn't hot enough. You can see it's slowly sinking in. Maybe if you get the knife hotter. Dip it in the hot water that's been sitting on the stove. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do then. Hey Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Yikes. What about yay pops? That they're yummy and oh, sometimes we drop. Oh, that's Stevens! I found in the sink. Oh yeah, I got that in there too, huh? And they have 
it again, that's all I know. Almost forgot. While I was rinsing off the funk for the day, I remembered this thought I had as I was hurtling down that hill on the bike at 45 miles an hour, feeling the feel of how very precious life is and how quickly it could all be taken away from you. That every breath we have here is something to be thankful for. Oh, clean. Yep, good wiping, my guy. <laughs> I, I was thinking the, these videos are going to be the biggest thing I leave behind when my time does come. So, there was something that I thought I should start leaving on every one of the videos as a message for all of my friends and family. And that message is, I love you, I miss you, and I'll see you again soon.